SpaceX is gearing up for Flight 7 and my question is, are they serious? It is not just a launch but the prelude to a revolutionary 2025 that will probably change the meaning of space exploration. Fully reusable rockets, a fleet of lunar landers, and a launch cadence so high it will make 2024 look like a warm-up lap. What's the timeline? What are some of the milestones likely to be achieved with SpaceX and the space industry in general during this revolutionary year? Because 2025 will be quite a ride. Let's take a little time to reflect on what 2024 has given us. This year shattered records, from SpaceX catching boosters with chopsticks to groundbreaking missions like the Europa Clipper heading to Jupiter's icy moon. The number of rocket launches this year outpaced any other year in history, driven by SpaceX's relentless Starlink missions. They have been averaging a launch every three days. But here's the kicker. 2025 is set to leave even this record-breaking year in the dust. And with Starship Flight 7 just weeks away, it doesn't seem to be slowing down. If all goes well, this launch will start what could be the busiest year in spaceflight history. For the first time, SpaceX isn't the only key player in town other companies are ramping up their game. The launch market is getting crowded and competition is cutthroat. But let's be real, SpaceX still sets the standard. New vehicles will play a huge role in the coming year. Remember how 2024 finally saw the debut of Vulcan and Ariane 6? In 2025, we're looking at the dawn of truly reusable rockets designed from the ground up to be cost-effective and competitive. First on the list, New Glenn. Blue Origin's heavy lift vehicle has faced delays but now fits perfectly into the 2025 narrative. This rocket isn't about competing with Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy, it's a statement that the industry is evolving. Then there is Rocket Lab's Neutron. Announced in 2021, the medium lift vehicle features a twist, partial reusability at an ultra-competitive cost of $50 million per launch. That is a full $15 million cheaper than the Falcon 9. Neutron isn't fully reusable yet, but it could become a disruptor because of its low price. Oh, and then there are the dozen other new rockets that hope to make their first flight, such as Zhukui-3 from China and RFA-1 from Europe. Reusable rockets are no longer the exception, they're becoming the rule. But no rocket has captured the public's imagination quite like Starship. SpaceX is aiming much, much higher than a match for Falcon's line partial reusability. By February, we could see Starship's eighth flight attempt be the first ever orbital flight of a fully reusable rocket. Just think, the biggest rocket ever built not just to make orbit but return intact to be reused. That's history in the making rather than just engineering. But it does not stop there. SpaceX aims to catch Starship's upper stage with their chopstick arms. If they can, they will have done something nobody else has ever pulled off a rocket system capable of being returned from top to bottom. That will be a sea change for space exploration, costs radically lower with missions farther from Earth than ever conceived. Speaking of missions, let's talk about what's next for Starship. The larger deployments of Starlink satellites are starting once the first successful catches are done. The said satellites would be critical to the next generation in its Starlink program intended for global coverage. Indeed, Starship has such an enormous capacity that only this rocket will be capable of carrying the next generation satellite with its reusability to keep costs low. But Starship isn't just about satellites, it's also about interplanetary exploration. Probably one of the most important milestones to look for in 2025 might be the very first orbital refueling test, a revolutionary technology that could enable Mars and beyond with space-based refueling of space missions. That could mean Starship transporting over 100 tons anywhere in the solar system, maybe at a price much lower than the price many rockets take to low Earth orbit. This type of innovation opens space up to everyone. Now, let's dream a little. What if SpaceX successfully reflies one of its early starships this summer? That would represent the beginning of a world where rockets aren't flown once or twice, but dozens of times, like airliners. It's hard to overstate how big this leap is. A completely reusable rocket fleet would normalize space travel, opening the door to everything from moon bases to Mars colonies. As far as the moon goes, 2025 is chock full of lunar missions. SpaceX has five planned, including landings for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program. These will be laying down scientific instruments, rovers, and other payloads on the lunar surface to pave the way for human return to the moon. While Artemis 3 has been pushed to 2027, SpaceX's Starship demo for a lunar landing might still happen next year. It is an ambitious timeline, but if anyone can make it happen, it would be SpaceX. But the moon will hardly be the only destination in 2025. 
Mars exploration gets a boost with the launch of NASA's Escapade mission, twin probes built by Rocket Lab to study how Mars' atmosphere interacts with solar winds. This is important research to understand just how the Red Planet came to be so inhospitable and what we can do to make it livable in the future. Asteroids are not off the radar either. China will launch its first asteroid sample return mission, and NASA's Lucy spacecraft will visit its second asteroid, Donald Johansson. These missions serve as a window to the early solar system and allow scientists to understand how the planets and other bodies came to be. Closer to home, the rise of space tourism and commercial space stations will make news. Vast Space's Haven 1 station will launch in August 2025, ushering in a new era in private space stations. While Haven 1 is a minimal viable product reliant on SpaceX's Dragon for Life support, it represents a meaningful milestone toward the normalization of living and working in space. The broader industry is also stepping up. India will conduct three uncrewed test flights of its Gaganyaan crew capsule, taking it closer to its goal of human spaceflight. Meanwhile, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser and ESA's Space Rider will make their debut, expanding the range of vehicles capable of supporting space missions. Scientific research will prosper from projects like SPHEREX, mapping the sky in near infrared, to IMAP, studying the sun's heliosphere. In so doing, it will further our understanding of the universe and open up more avenues for discovery. Looking ahead to 2025, one thing is certain, space is entering its golden age. Innovation is moving at an incredible pace and possibilities are endless. New rockets, groundbreaking missions, and the opening of space to more people than ever before. 2025 will be a year to remember. And who knows, the most exciting developments might be those that we cannot even imagine. Stay tuned because space is just getting started. If you enjoyed this deep dive into SpaceX's ambitious plans and the future of space exploration, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community for more exciting updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you'd like to support the channel, share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Together, we can inspire even more people to reach for the stars.